Welcome back. Now it's time to create our first HTML page. So let's go. Here are the objectives for this session. In this video, we will discuss about creating your first HTML page, viewing the result and text formatting. So let's start with the creating your first HTML page. I'm sure this will be exciting. creating your first HTML page. All right. Now that you have seen what an HTML tag looks like, it is time to create a web page by using some of the basic tags. We'll start with a simple example so that you can get a basic feel for HTML. To begin with writing HTML, you don't need a web server, web hosting, or even a connection to the internet. All you need is an application in which you can create your HTML files and a browser to view them. I've shared some of the tool names in the previous video and I'm, you know, we will use those in action. By the way, you can simply use a notepad even to write these HTML codes. So let's use some convenient tools like Sublime Text 3 uh, during our sessions. We'll do a lab as well along with the session to get things into practical. So please keep watch on the lab sessions coming up. So all you need to do, open your text editor, in our case, Sublime Text 3, and type the code which you see on the screen. If you want to pause the video, please do so. You don't have to understand and what any of it means at this point of time. You learn more about much of this in the following video. This is just a sample exercise or example is just to get you started. So go ahead. Great. I hope all of you have typed the code into the sublime. Now time to save the file. So when you choose a name for the file, two rules to follow. Number one, the file name should have an extension of .html. .htm is okay as well, but not preferred. For example, my file.html, text.html, or an index.htm. Most web software requires your files to have these extensions, so you get the habit of doing it now, right? Use short, simple names. Don't include any spaces or special characters. Um, just letters and numer numbers are fine. Be sure to choose descriptive readable names for your files so they will help you to keep a track of what you have used it for and they can help make your site friendlier to search engines all right so well done let's move on with seeing the results of your first html code you have written now that you have an html file start your web browser Google Chrome is what I would suggest in this case. After your web browser is running, look for a menu item or a button label open and then go ahead and open the file. I'm sure every single person knows how to open a file, right? Because in today's generation, everybody is, you know, computer savvy. Choosing it enables you to browse your local disk. What I mean, opening a file will enable you to browse your file into the file from the local disk. Other option is to double click on the file in the directory, or you can just drag the HTML file into an open browser window if you prefer. Good. So compare your file uh, to the example, check all your tags after the closing tags and all your characters are matched. In case if you want to make some changes, you don't have to quit the browser, just correct the file and save it again under the same name. Go to the br browser and refresh the page. Now you can refresh the page by using an F5 in some cases. So once you've opened the file in the browser, go ahead and take a look at using a Chrome developer tools. This is something new for you now, of course, yes. Um, but this is an amazing tool in troubleshooting. So once you've opened the developer tools, you can view the source of the page in the elements tab. Go ahead and mouse over the elements in the source window to see the corresponding markup highlighted on the page. 
So when an HTML page is loaded by the browser, any formatting you might have done with the white space characters, that is any extra spaces, tabs, returns, and so on is ignored. The only thing that specifies formatting an HTML page is an HTML tag. The advantage of having all the white spaces, uh, you know, spaces, tabs, returns ignored is what is that you can put your tags wherever you want. Isn't it convenient? Yes. The example here all produce the same output. You can go ahead and try them. That's it for now. Uh, see you again in the next video. So you may check out the lab session after this module and practice along. Thanks for watching.